I'm Ari Epstein. I teach at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in a first year learning community called Terrascope. And my chapter is called When an Engineer Tells a Story. And it's about experiences of students in a class I teach called Terrascope Radio, where they create audio stories for the general public. So the fall class is called Solving Complex Problems and we give them an enormous but real problem uh, and tell them as a group, there are typically 40 to 60 students in that class and say, as a, as a team, uh, come up with proposed solutions and you've got a semester. Uh, one of the problems was shortly after Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, the question was, should New Orleans be rebuilt? And if so, how? So like all Terrascope problems, it's characterized by a number of things. One of them being that there's no perfect answer. There are always trade-offs involved. And another, which I think is incredibly important is science and technology alone will not solve the problem and may not be the most important things in solving the problem. Mm -hmm. So for example, that year, some of the most exciting ideas that came from the students had to do with zoning and taxation as ways of encouraging certain forms of development and discouraging other forms of development with a, within a renewed New Orleans. And yeah, they also talked a lot about trying to understand the soil and subsidence and the levees and all of those scientific and technical issues. But at the core of a Terrascope problem is the fact that you're working for human beings who have a variety of things going on in their lives, not all of which are directly relevant to the, the science that's involved. The Saints. This song can be found almost anywhere in New Orleans. It seems to be one of those things that help to pull the city together that have caused many people, both volunteers and citizens, to become utterly dedicated to bringing it back to its feet. Rather than push facts onto the students, we put the students in a situation where they want to go pull facts out of the world. And so we don't tell them, you know, New Orleans is this big and so and so and water went this way and then the hurricane. We don't tell them anything like that at all. We put them in a situation where they need to figure it out. They decide what facts they need. They figure out how to go and get them and they pull them in, and that's much richer, deeper learning than if we had sort of had a long list of things to tell them. So this idea of creating a setting where learning happens and creating a, a setting where the students themselves go out into the world and, and get the knowledge they need. More than anything else, it was the people we met that defined our experience. They came from all walks of life, and they all have their own things to say. Yet they are connected, from Bourbon Street to the Bayou, by a common thread, their love of their home. One of the, the primary objectives of this class is that the students really start to be trained to think about their audience. I think one of the things that happens at technical schools in particular is uh, we tend to train engineers to think about the problem and to think about the technology and to think about the scientific aspects of it. And we don't always do such a good job of training them to think about the people they're working for and with. And so to take these young people and give them a chance to really think about audience, really think about who are they making this piece for, uh, we thought would be incredibly useful and it has been. The product of the class is invisible. It is the transformation that happens inside the minds of the students. And so uh, within Terrascope Radio, I would consider it a success if they created just a really terrible program but had undergone a, a very transformative learning experience. As it happens, they do great work. They're total beginners in audio, mostly. They create these incredible pieces. Um, and I'm delighted, uh, it's wonderful what they do, but really what, the core of what we're trying to get at is to help them transform themselves. Visiting New Orleans has changed us by seeing the strength and love that these people have for their city. We've stopped looking at New Orleans merely as scientists and have started to appreciate why it is precious to so many. I always love listening to that. Uh, so that, the voice you heard is Emily Davidson. I should mention that the sound was gathered by all of the students in the class. It's a collaborative team effort. So uh, Emily conducted some of the interviews, other people conducted others of the interviews, uh, and they all chipped in on the production work. 